Could the megalodon, the monstrous prehistoric shark, still lurk in the unexplored depths of our oceans? This question has been a source of intrigue and fascination for centuries. The megalodon, whose name means big tooth, has captivated our imaginations like no other creature of the deep. Let's set the scene. The megalodon was a prehistoric beast that roamed the oceans over two and a half million years ago. It was a titan among predators, dwarfing every shark species alive today. Picture the great white shark, a creature that strikes fear into the hearts of many. Now imagine a shark three times as long and 20 times as heavy. That was the megalodon. Its teeth alone were the size of a grown man's hand, and it had the biting power to crush a car. Yet despite its size and power, the megalodon remains shrouded in mystery. It's a creature known to us largely through fossil records and educated speculation. We know it existed, we know it was enormous, and we know it was a formidable predator. But beyond that, so much remains unknown. The mystery deepens when we consider that the ocean, even in the 21st century, remains largely unexplored. It's said that we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the depths of our own seas. Could it be possible that somewhere in those murky, uncharted waters, the megalodon still exists? This is the question that has sparked countless debates, theories, and even some alleged eyewitness accounts. The idea is tantalizing, isn't it? That a creature from a time long past could have survived, hidden away in the depths unseen and undisturbed. Dive with us into the deep as we explore eyewitness accounts and theories suggesting the megalodon's existence. Could this ancient leviathan still roam the abyss? Join us as we delve into the unsolved mystery of the megalodon. From shadowy figures beneath the waves to unexplained marine phenomena, there are those who believe they've encountered the megalodon. In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, there are countless tales of encounters with the unexplained. Some of these stories, chilling and awe-inspiring, hint at the possibility that the megalodon the prehistoric predator of the deep, may still roam our oceans. Let's take a trip around the globe, sampling a few compelling eyewitness accounts. In the cold, treacherous waters of the North Atlantic, a Norwegian fisherman tells a tale of an unusually large shark fin slicing through the water's surface, dwarfing his 20-foot fishing vessel. His description of the shark, its size and its ferocity, all point to something far larger than any known species. Halfway across the world, Australian surfers speak of a shadow beneath the waves, a presence so massive it sends a chill down the spine of the bravest souls. They talk of a creature that dwarfs the great white shark, a beast that could only be the megalodon. In the warm tropical waters of the Pacific, we hear tales from divers who've encountered unexplained marine phenomena. They speak of deep sea scars, gashes in the ocean floor too large for any known creature to have made. Could this be the work of the Megalodon? And then there are the stories from South Africa, tales of fishing boats being attacked by an unknown marine creature of extraordinary size. These accounts, though shrouded in mystery, suggest a powerful creature lurking in the depths, a creature that could very well be the Megalodon. While these accounts are intriguing, they are just the tip of the iceberg. Let's delve deeper into the theories that support these claims. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest corners of scientific research, the hunt for the megalodon continues. Stay with us as we explore the evidence and the theories that suggest this ancient beast may still be among us. Theories abound when it comes to the megalodon's survival. Some are scientific, others not so much. But let's dive into these conjectures, shall we? One of the most prevalent theories is deep sea living. Megalodon, being a shark of such immense size, could have adapted to life in the depths of the ocean, far from human eyes. This theory posits that the megalodon's current habitat is in the trenches and abyssal plains of our world's oceans, areas largely unexplored by humans. The colossal squid, another sea giant, thrives in these deep, dark waters. Could the megalodon be doing the same? Another theory ties into climate change. As we know, the Earth's climate has been fluctuating for millions of years. Some theorists propose that the megalodon adapted to these changes and evolved into a species more suited to colder waters. In this scenario, the megalodon could be hiding in the freezing depths of the Arctic or Antarctic oceans, 
far from the usual shark hotspots. And then, there are the more far-fetched theories. One such conjecture suggests that the Megalodon isn't a shark at all, but an alien creature from another planet, sent to Earth for some unknown purpose. Or perhaps the Megalodon is a product of a government experiment gone wrong, a bioengineered super shark lurking in the depths. But what about the theory that the Megalodon simply never went extinct, that the fossil record is incomplete or misinterpreted, and this prehistoric behemoth has been swimming in our oceans all along, undetected by modern science? Each of these theories, as wild as some may seem, reflects our fascination with the Megalodon. This ancient shark has captured our imagination in a way few other creatures have. It's a symbol of the vast, unexplored mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our oceans. But theories are just that, theories. What about the hard evidence? Scene script. Evidence of the Megalodon's existence is scarce, but some findings fuel the fire of speculation. Let's delve into the depths of the ocean to uncover what some believe are hints of this colossal creature's continued presence. The most common pieces of evidence are, without a doubt, the Megalodon's teeth. These monstrous relics of the past can reach over seven inches in length, dwarfing the teeth of any shark known today. They are often found embedded in the ocean floor and occasionally wash up on shorelines. Some claim these teeth are too well preserved to be millions of years old, suggesting they may have come from a living Megalodon. Next, we have the tales of unexplained damage to marine equipment. Submersibles operating in the deep sea have reportedly returned to the surface with giant bite marks and scratches, damage that far exceeds what any known marine predator could inflict. Could a megalodon be lurking in the abyss, defending its territory? Then, there are the mysterious sound recordings from the ocean depths. These low-frequency rumbling noises, known as the bloop and Julia, have been picked up by hydrophones across the globe. Some speculate these sounds could be the calls of a megalodon communicating across vast distances. Lastly, we cannot ignore the sightings of unusually large, unidentifiable creatures. These accounts often come from seasoned mariners who swear they've seen a shark of a size that defies explanation. Are these simply misidentifications, or could they be glimpses of the elusive megalodon? But despite these intriguing pieces of evidence, it's important to remember that the scientific community remains largely skeptical. Many scientists argue that these findings can be explained by other, less sensational phenomena. The teeth could be well-preserved fossils, the equipment damage could be due to geological activity, the sounds could be icebergs fracturing, and the sightings could be cases of mistaken identity. While this evidence is compelling, the scientific community remains largely skeptical. So does the Megalodon still swim in our oceans? Stay tuned to find out. So, does the Megalodon still exist? Or is it forever lost to the annals of history? We've delved deep into the mystery, heard from eyewitnesses, explored theories and examined the evidence. Now, it's time to weigh it all up and attempt to reach a verdict. Let's recap the journey we've taken. We've heard compelling eyewitness accounts of enormous, shark-like creatures with descriptions that align suspiciously well with what we know of the Megalodon. These stories, some dating back centuries, have sparked a multitude of theories. Some of these theories suggest that the Megalodon has evolved to live in the deepest, most inaccessible parts of our oceans, where humans have yet to explore. Others propose that these creatures have developed a degree of intelligence and stealth, enabling them to avoid human detection. However, We've also examined the hard evidence. Fossil records, for instance, suggest that the Megalodon vanished from our planet around two and a half million years ago. Scientists argue that major shifts in ocean temperatures and food supply likely led to the Megalodon's extinction. Yet the ocean is a vast and mysterious place with more than 80% of its depths still unexplored. Despite the fossil evidence, the sheer size of our uncharted seas leaves room for speculation and mystery. So, where does this leave us? Well, the balance of evidence certainly leans towards the Megalodon's extinction. The fossil records are hard to dispute, and the lack of any recent verifiable physical evidence raises doubts about the creature's continued existence. But in the vast, unexplored expanses of our oceans, who can say for certain? The mystery of the Megalodon continues to captivate us, 
and until every corner of our oceans is explored, the possibility, however remote, remains. Until the depths of our oceans are fully explored, the question remains, could the megalodon still be out there?